I want to go over using ShapeBinder in part design as this really helps out with multi-body modeling. Notice my keyboard monitor over here in case you need to check out what hotkeys I use. Let's start with an XY plane. I'll be looking down on the part and uh, if, whoa, that's a pretty dense uh, mesh there. Let's make kind of a crazy spline shape here, All right? And then let's add two holes, uh, pretend like that's fully constrained. We're going to pad that, right? So we have a body. And for some reason, we want to start another body in part design and maybe use some multi-body modeling techniques. Well, when I create a body, which is right over here, here, right there. Uh, we have a new body, and maybe I'll get into an active sketch with this body um, on the same plane. And maybe I want to have, and I can, let me change my view here so that you can see this in a more wireframe fashion, I think the way it was <laughs> intended to be. There we go, wireframe. So from the origin, maybe we need to cut out some kind of hexagon shape that we couldn't do with just a subtract for some reason, right? But I want to reference these holes or reference some other part of uh, the other body that I've made. Well, I can grab my edge import tool, but you can see it doesn't grab any edges. Uh, so for referencing other bodies, we need a shape binder. So for that, I'll grab this, well, let me close out my sketch here and change my view back. Let's grab a shape binder, which with our body that we want to work in highlighted, right? It doesn't work if you activate the other body. So make sure that you have the bold text on the body that you want to edit. We'll grab this shape binder right here, right? This kind of funky looking button. And we want to add a geometry. We'll add the geometry of one of our faces, all right? So we choose, uh, click on Add Geometry, click on our face, and OK. And it looks almost like a datum plane that takes the shape of whatever face that uh, we just imported. But if I go to uh, Edit My Sketch, you can see the shape binder is now visible. And if I wanted to reference those two holes as before, and of course my toolbars are getting all mixed up here, if I wanted to reference this as before, it becomes a lot easier because now I grab my edge import tool, grab my shape binder right there and right there. And I can even uh, import my spline. And now I have all this geometry that I can reference off of as I wanted to before. So that's a pretty easy way of using multi-body modeling and being able to reference between multi-bodies within the part design workbench. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.